sometimes I hate our council. Well, quite often actually. Um, they keep putting this rubbish down. If you watch um, Baron Gun Von Grumble, he's had a grumble about it recently, and uh, I'm always grumbling about it. But um, there was a petition recently about stopping this, where allegedly they throw some tar down, and then they throw some gravel down. And supposedly it gets pressed in by cars, but this road never gets used. Allegedly it gets pressed in by cars, and then they have to come and sweep it, and that makes for a very safe, very stable road surface, they say. Now this has been here a fortnight. This has not been swept. And I now picked up at the edge of the road there, but it's only because I don't want to stand in the middle. I can do it here as well, look. Absolutely appalling. Absolutely appalling. East Yorkshire Council, you suck. Anyway, on that happy note, good evening everyone. Calm Biker here. And I'm uh, just doing a little vlog after my little moan. <laughs> and I need to turn this thing on. This keeps turning itself off because of my uh, bad positioning. I don't normally have it that way around. But I want to try something tonight. I was watching a video the other day. Uh, and I can't remember what it was by, so I apologise. Uh, but I can't remember who was doing it. And it was a video where somebody was saying about, he thought his speedo was off. So in order to check if it was right or not, he decided to get his mate to follow him in the car. And uh, his mate told him that his speedo was right, I think, pretty much. But of course he did it based on what was in the car, and there's an assumption there that the car is right. And generally, they're not. So, I thought I'd do a little test. So, when I say generally they're not, what they do with, uh, if you can hear me above the stone chips pinging off my brand new paint, uh, what they do in a car generally is purposefully have the speedometer off by about five or six percent, for the UK at least, and probably across the world, so that it's, it overreads. So let's say you're doing 40 miles an hour for real, it's probably reading 42 on your speedo. And there's a reason for that, and the reason is that if you've got a speedo, oh look, road that's actually not loose, hooray! If you've got a speedo that reads more, uh, sorry, less than you're actually doing, so let's say you were doing 40 miles an hour and your speedo read 39, that here is illegal. But if your speedo reads over by up to 10%, that's fine. So 5% being bang in the middle means that it's safe from a legal standpoint. Um, you're not going to fail your MOT on the back of it or get caught out for driving a, an allegedly unsafe vehicle. Um, but you're also not miles off on your speedo. If you overread by more than 10%, so you're doing 40 and your speedo says 45, that's also not permitted. So. I wondered if that rule applied to bikes as well. Because it's kind of different on a bike, isn't it? And I was just having a quick... I can barely see. I was just having a quick look at my wheels and thinking, the 17-inch rims, and then there's about an inch of sidewall before you get onto the surface that touches the road. A little bit further for me, because I'm a big wuss. <laughs> but, so, about a 19-inch um, diameter to the the outside of the tyre. And then if you compare the position of the outside of the tyre to the middle of the tyre, it's on the back. Uh, I've only judged it by eye, but it's probably about three inches. Let's call it two, just you know, so that my argument stands even with underestimating it. So if you've got a 19 inch wheel and a two inch extra bit, and that's at both sides of course, so you're now at 23 inches of wheel, if your speedo is relatively accurate at 23 inches a wheel, when you tip it into 19 inches, well, that's a big difference, isn't it? Four out of 23, I mean, it's, uh, it's over a sixth, so it's probably about 18% difference that your speedo will then overread because you, you know, to do the same speed, your wheel has to turn faster when you're tipped in. So I was thinking about that and thinking, you know, it's, it's much harder on a motorbike to actually have a speedo that's within any range. I guess they would have to measure it if they do, based on the centre point of the tyre. Anyway, all that aside, I thought it might be interesting 
just for a bit of fun actually, I mean this is not scientific, to find out how accurate the speedo on my bike was. And clearly I can't compare it to somebody else's. I can't compare it to a car, because a car one's going to be wrong as well. Um, so what can I compare it to? And the only thing really I can compare it to is a GPS app, like that one, on my phone, there. Now, the GPS app might be really inaccurate too, but I thought, you know, it's measuring point to point, so for Ben's not so good. It's going to be tricky to measure that kind of on the edge of the tyre, especially seeing as, as I mentioned before, I'm a big wuss and I don't get within about half an inch of the edge of my tyre. <laughs> so, but I can do it in straight lines, and if it's measuring point to point on a relatively straight road, I should be able to compare the speed on that with the speed on my bike and get an idea of how far off it is. So I thought I'd try that tonight. I thought I might try, see if I can find a few different roads that I can try it on where I can get a speed kind of dialed in and try it at some different speeds, somewhere you know, between kind of 30 and uh, 70. And then compare them, the speed on the speedo versus the speed on the GPS. Hopefully the speed on the speedo will be higher, not lower. Um, <laughs> otherwise, if the rules do apply to bikes, I might be in trouble. But, um, you know, see how much they're off by, see if it's a consistent percentage they're off by, or if there's something unusual. So I'm going to do that at various different speeds and compare it. So I'm going to start now. I'm on a straight road now. And I'm doing, let's get, the, oh, I've got to a bend. <laughs> All right, let's get around this bit of bend and get straight again. When I get over the top of this uh, little flyover bit, there's another straight bit. And this is a 50 mile an hour road, so I'll do 50 on the speedo. And hope the Volvo behind me doesn't see that as a challenge and overtake. <laughs> and I'll compare it to the uh, GPS, then I'll go and find a different speedo road. So, here we go. So here's my straight bit. Let's keep the bike upright, dial in 50. 52, 51, 50, there it is, oh, 49, 50, and GPS says 46.3, and Volvo says this is a challenge, silly man, um, so let's find another speed, okay, another bit of road, this is a 40 stretch, so let's get 40 on the speed up, there it is, come on, 40, hold 40, there you go, 37.2 on the GPS hmm. so that's off by just under three miles an hour which would be what about seven and a half percent maybe I'll put the actual number on the screen eh? while I head down here towards the 70 mile per hour road unfortunate place to break down Okay, so 68, 69, 70. And I get 65.9 on the speedo. So, yeah, somewhere kind of 6 percent ish maybe. Interesting. So I've done uh, 50 and 40 and 70, and this bit is now a 60. It's a really awkward bit, there's a bend here. I really want to get past these cars that are doing 50 or 47 probably. You've got to watch it because there's average speed cameras all the way down here. It's a bit of a pain really. So, six, let's get 60 then. Dial in 60. And that gives me 56.6. Handy for the average speed cameras here get me, uh, <laughs> my GPS is saying just under 60, my speedo is saying 63, 10, 9.4, so final test with 30, come on, come on 30, to which it shows 27.3, so that's my little experiment over, it does feel, I mean I don't like doing maths on a, well arithmetic on a bike, <laughs> it does feel like it's about 5% out, so 
what I'll do is I'll uh, stick all the numbers up on the screen and see what the actual answer is. Certainly if the rule applies it's between 0 and 10% over reading so it will be legal and I'll answer my own question and if anybody else was interested enough to stay this long they'll know the answer too. That's enough waffle from me. Thanks for watching everyone. Ride safe and I'll talk to you all again soon. Now, which speedo do I use? Ha, 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 ha.